Michael, first of all, on, on Portsmouth, they've not changed too much in, in personnel compared to, to last season. Are we expecting a similar type of, of team from Kenny Jacket from the way they play? Yeah, I think so. I think, obviously, one thing's for sure that any uh, team that sort of Kenny Jacket manages and puts out, you know, yeah, we've got a very, very tough game. Um, as it was last season, I thought we, uh, I thought we played quite well in both games, especially down at, down at Portsmouth and to come away with nothing was uh, really frustrating. But, you know, that's the type of, um, sort of teams and performance that, that, that Kenny can, can produce with, with teams. They're well-structured, well-organised, hard to beat uh, and can frustrate at times. Looking at their highlights, a lot of their chances and goals come from set plays. How much work are you going to have to put in to, to make sure you're on top of them for tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, the, we'll go back to the game from last season at Fratton Park. Obviously, we got done on the set player, wide, deep wide free kick, having played so well in the game. So, we're aware of that, obviously. Um, it's, it, it's probably no different with a, with a lot of teams at this level. Um, we've been okay so far. We had a little bit of an issue in the first couple of games, but since then, we've been pretty good. Uh, we've been quite strong ourselves. So, um, yes, we need to be resolute. We need to be brave. We need to be aggressive. Um, and try not let the, the amount of hard work that we put in between the 1995 minutes, uh, let that be undone by a set play. And they've had a, a decent run up until uh, Saturday. Obviously, a lot of pressure on that club. You now haven't been there as well for a, a, a spell. How difficult is it for a club like Portsmouth to keep up with that expectation? Yeah, it is. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it was a little bit different when I was there. It was a little bit crazy. All sorts of things going on with administrations after administration. But certainly, there's an expectation level now because they're a club that certainly absolute minimum expects to be in the championship in terms of uh, the fan base that they can produce. Um, they're obviously competing at the top end of League One and have been for a number of years now. So I get the expectations and I get the pressure. Um, in terms of Kenny, they couldn't have anyone better in terms of being able to deal with that um, expectations and pressure. He's been around the block. He's been a fantastic manager at numerous clubs and, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll be able to cope with that this season. Injury-wise, apart from Joe and Liam, anybody else pick up anything from the weekend? Yeah, we've got, we've got a few, if I'm being honest. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned um, number-wise going into the game tomorrow. Um, yeah, uh, it's going to be a little bit um, fun and games, I would imagine, this morning with uh, players trying to roll them out uh, ready for Tuesday. But listen, if we can, you know, it's going to be an opportunity for some of the younger players in the squad to uh, stake a claim to, to be in the team going forward. I guess that is the, the one thing, isn't there? You do have a lot of players who can play in numerous positions. And, and I guess that comes back to your recruitment in the summer, that this was always the plan when you knew it was going to be a busy season, to, that there was going to be times when you would lose three or four. Absolutely. Yeah, and that, you know, that was the reason why you know, we recruit the players that we did. You know, we're not in a fortunate position to just you know, have a 30-man squad, as an example, like some of the bigger, bigger teams. So... If we've got 22, 23 players, we definitely need five or six, like you say, who are comfortable or as comfortable playing in certain roles. And um, yeah, they're certainly going to have to do that over the coming weeks. And I guess for those players that might be coming in tomorrow, it's about, like they do in the EFL Trophy, about proving to you why they then should continue and, and keep their place on Saturday against Forest Green. Absolutely, and they will do. You know, I think you know that. That's I think that's the been the honest conversation that we've, we've all had over the summer and um, you know that's the culture we're trying to create at the end of the day if you take your opportunity um, you're more than likely going to you know going to be able to, to keep your shirt and um, there might be certain times where that, that that's different to a certain opposition and we feel it's the right thing to do and change it but you know the players know that you know if they come in and perform um, it's more more likely uh, that they'll, they'll, they'll Stay in the team. Lovely, thank you. Mate. Morning, Michael. Mark, all right. Um, obviously, we're heading into a, another lockdown later this week. Um, it's been a tough start off the pitch for everyone. Are you happy with the protocols we've got in place at the moment, and are they working for you? Are you comfortable with them? Well, it, it seems that way at this moment in time. Yes. Um, I mean, touch wood. Luckily, we've had no no cases. Um, and long may that continue. 
Um, so, you know, that's going to be the same thing for most clubs going forward to try and um, eliminate um, games being called off, basically, because, you know, it's a condensed season as it is already. Uh, the last thing you want to do is, one, is either have games called off or have two or three players missing for, for, for important games. Um, so we've, we've been okay so far, you know, hopefully that will continue going forward and, um, you know, we can get the games played. Are you happy with the guidance you've had from the EFL and um, the testing regime that you've got in place? Uh, well, there's no testing regime in place. So, uh, well, in terms of um, guidelines, listen, it's one of them where we could spend three days talking about this um, and um, I'd rather sort of talk about the football side of it. All we can do is make sure that we try and keep the players as safe and as healthy as we possibly can. Difficult time, difficult period. Obviously, you know, with it, everybody going into lockdown from Thursday, um, you know, it's one of them where we've, one, we've got to manage the players while they're here, but, you know, we've got to support them as well, uh, them and their families when they, they return home. And of course, it's a tough time for everybody. You can, you know, give the fans a bit of joy, can't you? With your <laughs> Yeah, I think it's important. I think that's, you know, I think, you know, when Project Restart did did happen and the Premier League got underway and it was almost a, um, you know, a, a boost for everybody and the fact that obviously the new league starting, yes, you know, without fans being able to see it physically, but with I following these and these um, streaming platforms that we've got to actually watch the team, it keeps the fans connected in some way. I think that's important. And, uh, you know, when they are going to be locked down, if they're able to, um, you know, let off a little bit of steam, albeit, you know, behind the screen or in front of the screen, uh, screen sorry, um, then obviously it's only going to be a good thing. In terms of the injuries, when do you have to have um, Colin Morton and Max Melvin available again? Max, well, Max trained uh, on Friday and Thursday, so he's trained a couple of days, but obviously he's been off for well over a month or so now uh, with the injury, so... He may be another week or so away from being ready to actually, you know, be involved. Um, Callum, Callum, who knows at the minute? Um, I know he's due to see the surgeon, I think it's this week. Um, I don't think it's progressing as quickly um, as he would have liked. From the conversations that we've had, Surgery might have to be an option now. Where originally, you know, surgery was taken off the car, it's off the table. So, so um, yeah, I'm a little bit so in a grey area with it at the minute. Hopefully, might be able to give you a bit more of a definitive answer maybe back in the week. When you're hoping to find out more about the injury tomorrow? Yeah, he's seen a surgeon tomorrow, so we'll have an idea. Hopefully, on time scales. Yeah, um, and in terms of tomorrow's game, what do you want to see from the team that you perhaps didn't quite get? Um, I mean, I, it's one of them where I think after games you can be a little bit emotional when you watch the game back. Sometimes it's not as uh, as bad as what you think. And, um, you know, we were well in the game and, you know, played a, more than played our part in a, in a game where... Um, it was a it was a game with only a few chances. I thought we were much better in the second half. I think we have to start the game better. There's no doubt about it. I think we've been really good at starting games well, and we played played pretty well in, in the first half of most games that we played. Um, I thought we were definitely second best in the first half in terms of second balls and duels, um, which has been a little bit unlike us. So I think when you come up against the Portsmouth side and the Kenny Jackett side. If you don't compete, and certainly don't compete early doors, you know, we're going to find ourselves behind in a game. I certainly don't want that.